Skeeter White coming at you with the mullet diaries. This time we take it out of this world, we messing with this 1967 Mercury. Now I done been up in some cougars in my life, but nothing quite like this one we about to jump into today. Stay tuned to get the lowdown, brother. All right, Skeeter White here with a very special presentation. We got a man that's already done an interview with me before. If you want to see a little bit more detail on this, uh, this Mercury Cougar right here, you go back up and look up the video on my YouTube. But uh, Tom Baroni, never a jabroni. What's going on, brother? Brother, it's a pleasure as usual. Hey, I dig your shoes, bro. We're, Look, brother. we're like brothers from different mothers. Great minds think alike. Great minds well, think alike. That's brother. how we rock and roll, dude. Listen, all USA, all day, every day. By all means, my friend. That's just how we do it, brother. Now, now for those uninitiated, give us a little detail on this hot rod right here. Uh, she's just an old 67 Cougar. Got a little 306 in it, a 30 over 302. C4 transmission, 3500 stall. Uh, eight inch rear end, yeah, eight inch. The one that came in the car. <laughs> And I beat her, and she's still together. Uh, it's got a 355 gears in it, nice cruising gear. Now I can go around, go to shows, and hang out, and actually enjoy the car a little more. Uh, not much interior in her. It's just uh, she's not pretty, but she's a go. So we can't have show and go, so we'll just have the go part of it. You know what I'm saying? FNA Rock, brother. You say you beat on her, and she's still there. She's still there. I mean, we used to be a proper country. That's how we used to do it around here. Now, now they get you a lawsuit for that kind of well, thing. You know that, what I mean? That's how you have control nowadays. Thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, here we go now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get started with the political stuff. That's what everybody wants to see, right? Yeah. You showed me some pictures earlier, you know what I mean, of, of how the car used to look and what you've been doing. So, so what did the car look like when you first got it, and what have you done to it to get to its current, current state? Well, how much time we got? How much time you got, buddy? I work out the drag strip, Showtime, which used the old Sunshine drag strip. Um, the gentleman had this car, and he kept going up and down the track, up and down, people, different people in the car. I said, man, I'd love to have that car. He goes, it's for sale. I go, well, I ain't, I ain't got a a load of money to help you out with it. He goes, what do you got to trade? I had a 91 Fox body Mustang. I had a 351 Windsor on the ground. I had a tubular K member on the ground. He goes, I'll do it. I'll go, you'll do what? He goes, I'll trade you. I go, are you shitting me? Well, that's what I said. I, know, I says, let's do it. The very next day, he was at my house, dropped the car off. She looked a little different back then. It was primered and blue and blue and primered and everything else. I had a buddy of mine that worked at a paint shop, got me a Three hundred dollar paint job on that's her. That's right. That's right. He asked me if I wanted to clear it. I go clear it. Well, I don't want to clear it for it. I said I don't want no clear on this thing. Flat blue, baby. Flat blue. One less thing we got to worry about to clean. So. Ain't right, brother. The only thing I've been cleared of is charges. You know what I mean? I ain't never done clearing my paint job. You know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm more into the go. I mean, show's cool. Don't get me wrong. But man, if you get a pretty car, you're gonna have to keep it pretty. If you scratch a car with one of them paint jobs on, you got to do the whole side. Yeah. And you're talking a load of money, like you. You know, we, we can't be fortunate to have a load of money. Listen, I got all my money underneath my mattress, brother. I mean, I ain't gonna say how much it is, yeah. but let's just say I've been skipping on child support recently. So we'll uh, we'll leave that as it is. <laughs> now, you know, you're kind of like me. I look at my girls like I look at my cars. You know what I mean? You can't have them too pretty. Right. Because then, you know, all the little jabronis want to come over, start trying to holler at her, stuff like that. So you leave her ugly. You right. should get a pretty one and usually cost you money anyhow. You know what I'm saying? So, so there's nothing wrong with some ugly girls in between look, there. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, this guy, this guy right here, man, you know, two peas in a pot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, I don't know if you have any plans in the future for this car. But the drive, race it. Track, drive it. I, drive it. I'm done. I'm done with the racing part of it. I just want to have fun in it. You know, because they're in the state of Florida. There's 25 Cougars, 25 67s. So to me, this car is a valuable car, even though it looks like this. You know, it needs some love, but I don't want to put any love into it. I just want to drive it because once you give it some love, you're gonna constantly have to give it some love. Uh -huh. It's just like like a woman. That's right. You know? That's right, man. We keep going back to that, brother. God. I don't I don't get it, dude. It's, I, it's, it's hard sometimes, you know? I feel like we need to go to the hoot and holler after this, get something off our chest. You know what I mean? I'll drive. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, brother. <laughs> it's not a getaway car, but I'll drive. You that's know? right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, now, uh, you know, we got a little detail on the engine, you know, and stuff like that. What, what about the suspension? What kind of suspension we got on uh, I have Caltrack rear suspension arms on it. Uh, it has Viking full adjustables, fronts and rears all the way around the rear. Tubal control arms up front. Uh, aerospace front brakes up front and it does have drum brakes in the rear still. Uh -huh. Yeah, drum brakes, baby. That's right. And, and running through the quarter mile at 110, 111 mile an hour, it's kind of hard to stop it. So I just go to eighth mile, have fun at the eighth mile with it. You know, it's it's not fast, 
I got a hundred shot of nitrous on it too, just in case. Ooh. You know, in case you got to do what do you call that, the, the gap of sore somebody. That's right. Take him to church, give him a little gap tip. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. <laughs> just a little gap tip. Just a little bit. That's all yeah, they need. Yeah, you just dunk them down and then, then break them back up. With the 28 inch all tire that was in the back with the 411 gears that were in it, at 60 mile an hour is 3,000 RPMs. I dumped 355 gears in it. 355 gears now is 2,200 RPMs, which means it's a lot more enjoyable. You can drive it and go places. You know, I can go from here to Tampa. I can go to Brayton. I can go to Lakewood Ranch. I can go to Lakeland, you know, and, and enjoy the car a little more. You know, you're going to beat on it. Something's going to happen. That's right. It's going to get hurt one way or the other when That's you beat right. on it. Yeah. When you beat on it. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I don't want to start hearing police sirens over here. You better, yeah, you better yeah, calm my, it down, Todd Barone. Well, well, we're on camera, so. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Now, now we are here at the shop that you work at today. We're, we're doing a little double feature, not just on the car, but on the shop. So, so give us a little detail on Rooster's Rod Shop. Well, the Rooster's Rod Shop, right now we're in a building that's 36,000 square feet. Hot damn, brother. Nothing but hot rods. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. That's about it. Uh, we do work on other cars, depending on the owner or the boss wants some other cars in. It's entirely up to them. They say, do this, and I, yes, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Try to do the best we can with it. And there's such a variety of cars in the shop right now it, it, they're, it, it's well versed. I mean, we have Chevys, we have Fords, we have Dodges. Uh, Chevy Chevrolet. Uh, I looked up in the dictionary the other day, and that is French for slow. Because I know you have you, a Chevrolet. You want to sit here and act like Ford doesn't in English stand for found on road dead. First on race day. Your first, the first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when, when you go to the NMRA and it's nothing but, but Fords. Fords. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm a Ford guy. Somebody so got to win gold in the Special Olympics. That's all <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. You know, I'll run her up in it. I don't <laughs> care. Yeah, it's all good having fun with it. You know? That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know, uh, also backwards driver returns on foot. I got to get the last word. Oh, man, 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 man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, we did a little... Uh, you know, a little mini tour earlier. We'll do an actual full tour on camera here in a little bit. Right on, but right I see on. a lot of cars, 40s, 50s. Is there like a specialty you guys work on? All of them. Just all, all of them. them. There is no specialty in, in between. Uh, we pull motors out, rebuild motors, put bigger cams in them. Um, the owner and my boss, uh, they're our stick shift people. So real, real hot rods have three pedals in it. Not just a brake and a gas. It has a clutch. They, they love stick shift cars. And that's old school hot rodding stuff from them. And you can probably talk to a hundred old timers. 75% of them will like stick shift cars. Well, Rooster's Rod loves the stick. That's not surprising. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Now, uh, big stick. That, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Now, you know, we were, we were, you know, BSing a little bit earlier. So what percentage of cars that come in here with fuel injection leave with a carburetor? Uh, any of them. Any of them. Unless, any of them. Unless, Let's go, and, brother. Unless it's a factory, like a factory Corvette 53, 54, that has a factory fuel injection on them, you don't want to mess with that. You want to leave that alone because that's what makes that car valuable. Some of the injection stuff, you're forever tuning. And listen, I'll say it once, I say it a thousand times. If you can't tune it with a flathead, I don't want it. You know what that, I mean? Well, that's all you need on them now. That's right. I mean, adjusted mixtures, adjust the idle, boom, you're done. That's what I'm saying. Look, even adjust the bolt level, you know? A flathead, a timing gun, and a pair of new balances, you're all set. <laughs> Well, you had to throw new balances in there. <laughs> you got to throw the new balances in you know what I mean? Either that or, or American flag. Hey, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Hey, that, dude. You know what I mean? So, These are comfortable for me. I don't know about you. Oh, I love it. Well, I mean, I mean, there's so much freedom on my feet right now. You can't be nothing but comfortable. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know who ain't who ain't comfortable when I'm wearing these terrorists. Yeah, that's well, right. We got we got ways to take care of them. That's right. That's right. Well, this is the state of Florida. Legal. We legal we got firearms. ways to take care of that. That's right. Yosemite salmon. Before we get a little bit too long in here, we're gonna do a little tour of the shop. Right on. And then we're gonna take the car out for a little spin. Sound good to you? Oh hell yeah! Sounds Let's good do to it, me. brother. Uh, sounds real good. Welcome to Hot Rod Heaven. This is Rooster's Rod Shop. I am a proud person, and I can say that I work for. Roosters for Timmy Hahn and John Benedict. They're, they're some of the badasses dudes you ever want to meet. You watch them guys on TV, these guys are just like them. Fabricators and just love working on hot rods. So let's take a quick tour through Roosters Rod Shop. Got a 40 Ford truck right here for sale. You too can be in a factory hot rod. This has got a fiberglass body on it. It's set up, it's ready to go. 20 grand, we'll get this car. There's no motor, no transmission, no interior because I don't know, uh, some people like putting LS's in them, but LS is like drinking White Claw. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's not the same. You should have a factory Ford. You should put a Coyote motor in this. You can put a 302 in it, anything else you want. LS, nah, but that's entirely up to you. Whatever you want in it, we will put it in it. Totally ready to go. Just needs interior, motor and transmission and gauges, but that's all up to you what you want to do. 20 grand as she sits, ready to roll. So 
we have 36,000 square feet inside this building. So we'll just take a quick tour around. We'll show you some hot rides. Over here is a fabricating section. Obviously we got frames on the jigs set up and ready to go. We got the new state of the art badass plasma welders. Um, got a uh, flathead V8 over there getting ready to get together. This here is a, it's gonna be for a 65 pickup truck. Um, it's been C-notched so it could be lowered. This is gonna be eventually be a gasser. Old school hot rods over here. So this is a, a show car that we did and uh, the owner Timmy Hahn likes to drive around in them. So uh, we're gonna get her set up, get ready to go out to the track, have some fun with it. It's a three speed, uh, done a lot of work to it. Had the frame off, uh, powder coated it, made her nice and pretty, nice and clean. Uh, it's a show winner. A lot of places we go to, they, they enjoy seeing old school hot rods. Um, the name Roosters comes from Tim's last name. Um, it stands for Rooster. So everything that we have here is cock related. So this vehicle is called Cock Slinger. Take it out. Then we just fabricated a push bar for three speed in between the legs. Like I said, they are, they are hot rodders. And uh, like most people say, if it doesn't have three pedals, she's not a hot rod. This was a fun, fun build. Everything, well, everything was off of it and all in, everything was in pieces. It's just fun to have some different names and have fun building stuff like this. And it's, it's, a, it's like a dream job. You know, you could go, what other place can you go and you wake up and you go, man, I'm going to go work on hot rods in the morning. I, how much, I, you just, you can't explain it, but what a feeling that is. Hey, we got a beautiful 39 right here. Deluxe, she's ready to roll. Another one of our, my, my boss's vehicles. We got a, quite a few of them in here. But nothing like having some old hot rods. Now yeah, we're getting into some big money. Multiple show winner, SEMA winner. Everywhere she goes, she gets some looks. And yes, it does run and it does drive and they do drive it. It is a very fun piece to have. It's a little loud, but you want to talk about getting some attention. Uh, we had a little uh, incident with it in the trailer. So we're doing some modifications. Um, the front grill is off of it. The bed is off the back of it. All kinds of other stuff going on with her. Oh, shop truck. I know you're not a Ford guy, but we just got done building a stroker. This is our shop truck, shop cock. It's a 390 just built. It's got a full rotating Eagle assembly in it. You know, just one of them fun things to have. Oh, and it does have a stick shift in it. A granny gear, like five mile an hour first gear. Yeah, you ever pull a tree down. And it's just an old cool truck. 327. 327. Oh, no shit. Yep, 327. Oh boy. Uh, this gentleman is a true hauler of uh, open wheel modified cars, and he wanted a car to mimic an open wheel modified. So it's an open wheel modified small block Chevrolet in there, and she is loud and uh, she's in the process. And this car is going to be very, very quick. And he wanted some fat tires on the front to match the fat tires on the rear. Normally, this size tire is a 275, 60, 15. Usually, you find them on the back of a car. Now, these are up on the front. It took a little while to get used to it, but once you start looking at it, it's it's pretty badass. Yeah, tall boy. And the skull. It's got a little push button on the top to get it in and out of gear. Ah, yeah, yeah, because yeah, a lot of these uh, have the low car shifter in them, and it has a lockout so the kid can't get in and move it in and out of gear until you push it down to move it. You know, they did that back many, many years ago, and then that's when they put the interlock cables in them. You have to push the brake to, yeah. to put the car into gear. Kids were getting in them and playing in the car, pulling the shifter down, and the car would start rolling. Now you got the key on and your foot on the brake to undo the interlock to get the car to come out of gear. I'm a Ford guy, so I, I'm, this is a badass car to me. It's a 70 Mustang with a 460 in it. It's got a five-speed Tremec transmission in it. This is a built 460 aluminum heads. First time I've ever seen one of these. This is a Edelbrock big boy 750 carburetor. It looks a lot like a Holly, but she's called the Edelbrock. It has all... All four corner tunings on it, has idle jets and circuits you know and everything. Right. I don't think I've seen one of these either. Um, I Googled it up and it's an $800 carburetor. Okay. <laughs> Obviously it's a rooster limo. It's a, it's in a work and process vehicle. Uh, they put the, the big Dayton's on it, the views. And other than that though, just leaving her alone. It did have skirts on it, but with the skirts on it, they kind of rub on the tires. Listen, I'm a big fan of taking skirts off too. Wow, so, dude, so yeah, 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 yeah. It just, sometimes they look kind of ugly with a skirt off though, don't they? Listen, sometimes you just got to power through it. Yeah, well, I, the way I look at it, just turn the lights off. That's right. <laughs> Cockstar, baby. You know, I'm noticing a theme over here. Yep, it's a guy's shop. 
So everything's cock related. You guys got a lot of Fords in here, so it's not surprising that you guys are obsessed with cocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have a lot of Fords in here, but we also work on Chevys. So any way you look at it, you know, they're all nuts Sometimes and bolts. Sometimes you got to bring the big cocks in to, to balance out. The, uh... Small cocks, big cocks, fat cocks, it don't matter. They're all nuts and bolts. Just some are in different locations than others, that's all. 55 Chevy, putting a nine inch with a four link system in it. Customer wanted, uh, he's gonna eventually build a motor. This is a four speed car, got a Muncie in it. So it was easy just to undo the rear end. Got a whole, a whole fabbed up rear end ready to go into it. It's a, co a cool piece, just needs some loving. This thing here is a beauty. This gentleman has four or five cars. We're building this one for his wife. Now, it's a cool piece. We'll come around the front here when you get a chance. Now, if my wife had that, I would, well, I'd say I'd never see her again, but you talk about a lot of fun. Tuned it down a little bit to make it a little bit more streetable. It was pretty radical at the one time. So this is one of them uh, work in process cars. Very rare car. If you look at the top on these, glass. There's only a few of them that are around. And John, the owner, or the boss, has one of them. It's called a crush line. Crush line. And of course, real hot rods have craggers on them, so we had to put some craggers on them. It's a very, very cool piece. I ain't craggers the mags. Mags. It ain't working. Yeah, <laughs> those are the mags of the air. And they're still sought after right now. The one of the frames that we seen when we first came in, this is the cab that is going on it. Obviously, she's in uh, different stages. Um, all of these holes will be filled in and be all nice and smooth. I'll show you another one that we've done. It's all nice and smooth as you go through. Obviously, steering column, master cylinder, clutch, master. So that be all sealed up and made look nice and pretty and then some work done on the top of it. 52 Dodge. This poor vehicle was in uh, Fort Myers and when Irma hit four, four or five years ago, she got soaked. So it was a total frame off. Frame got powder coated. The body's been off. The motor's freshly built. It's got the flat six in it. A beautiful work truck going all back together. We did a 12 volt conversion on it. So we had to flip some wires around and do some other miscellaneous stuff to it. You guys keeping the flat six in it? Keeping the flat six in just the way it is. Ready for the reveal? Do it. Whoa. Ooh yeah, the headers are on backwards because they obviously won't fit in here. They had to have some custom headers, but the motor has ran. They're trying to work the bugs out of it, just the valves to get everything set up on it. And yes, she is a stick shift also. Turbos. That's what it looks like. Yeah. That's what everybody says too when they come and see it. Yeah. She's a, she's another one of them beautiful cars, and the body, the body for it's up top, which we'll go around later. Take some more pictures of it. You ready? Little 302, nothing special. She's a make make look pretty, and he just wanted to get something to get in and drive it. 302, that's what we call a five point slow in the Chevy world. Five point slow, never heard of it. Is that new? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. You're a Chevy guy. I forgot. Yeah, that's right. You know, but there's nothing but love, bro. There is. You know why? Because it's gasoline powered. This one's automatic. There's none of that electric concept. No, no electric. We don't do anything electric here. Is that nine inch? Yep. Um, this is another one of our customers. This was a frame off also. Uh, did a C notch on the frame. It's got airbags on it, obviously, because she's laying on the ground. And for you Chevy guys. <laughs> Whoa. Big, block big block, baby. Big block. With AC. <laughs> smooth, smooth firewall. AC lines going in through the hole. The other holes are set up. And then the other holes for the column. Everything's been smoothed out. All the wires will be hidden. Clean shape. Clean like shape, it. yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta have them clean. 
No, no, no. No, it's a to total different feeling with it. Got a gasser that we're building. This is the owner, Timmy. He, he loves gassers. He loves them up in the air. So uh, it's getting a 10,000 RPM small block Chevrolet. What'd you just say? Yeah, 10,000 RPM small block Chevrolet with a stick shift. It's like an SB2? Uh, you know what? I don't know, honestly know what it is. Yeah. I, I just know it's a fully built motor and all the components and everything are inside there. 10,000 RPM. They, more boys eat your heart out. They want a high winding motor. So 10,000 RPMs is a lot to bring out of a small block. Yeah. So this car is going to be a fun one bouncing around. Thunderbird here is the one that started it for them. And you want to talk about hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. In the sun, that does no justice. You have to see it. We have some of the badass dudes around here, fabricators, painters. Seeing it in person is a whole different deal. This one here is getting a full frame, nine inch, coilovers, all the sort of stuff done to it, and we're gonna put a healthy small block in it. This guy just came in and just gave us a deposit. He loves this truck, so we're fixing to make it even more lovable. One of them there, slow motors. Oh, I mean Chevrolet motor, sorry. It's just a driver. So we're gonna change some stuff out on it and uh, put the air conditioning back in it. He hacked all that off because it, it was a new pulley, newer pulley system on it that had a rotary style 69 Corvette. You ready for this one? Yeah. Come on around this side or that side. There's something's missing in there, dude. Got a whole lot of room for activities in here. But I, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. So we're building the motor for this gentleman, doing a full rotating assembly on it. It's got aluminum cylinder heads and everything on it too. Uh, long tube headers. This is the one that had the injection system off of, which we're trying to talk him out of it, but he love he loves his injection. Listen, brother, you show him the fine selection of flathead screwdrivers you got there. I don't think he'll be able to resist you can, that. The screwdrivers you can wear in your pocket. That's right. And that's all you need to tune. 51 Chevy, the old, old classic patina look with some pinstriping on her. That's right. Another fine piece. Another Corvette here. This one's getting a, a motor and transmission and brakes and all kinds of stuff done to it. This is a, one of John's my boss is another one of his project cars, an old Comet. It's got a 408 stroker in it with an AOD. He's thinking about taking that motor out and putting it in the crest line, but leaving, taking the AOD out and making the crest line a stick shift. He hasn't decided yet. Like I said, he's an old hot rodder. Ooh, big, big block, big cock. <laughs> Once again, it's a guy thing. And if you have one of these trucks, obviously you got a set to go with it. You know, most people would say a car like this and then have it call itself big block, big cock. It might be overcompensating for something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, one way or the other, short and fat, you know, it don't matter. <laughs> so um, this car was out on a, 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 a used one time and somebody cut them off, wind up going around the wall, blow the tire out of it. Yeah, and, and it's, a, it's a shame because she's a beautiful piece. Another truck that we're working on, we'll just put a small block on it. This one has a turbo 350 training behind it. This is another one of them fun ones that we're working on. And if you look up here, um, this is what happens to a lot of these trucks with this drip edge, the water settles in them and it winds up rotting it out and it winds up rotting the, the roof out. So this gentleman was fortunate to find a whole nother top that's in good shape. So we're gonna cut it off, cut the glass out of it and redo it and put the whole top of it on there. Same way with his dash. This is a new dash for that truck because that they're beautiful because you can't find them. Yeah. And they're big money right now too. This is our stereo truck that we take to car shows with us. This is called box cock because the box, it's on the back. Stereo setup is in here. And this is one of John's favorite trucks. And we'll go over to our tow vehicle. This is called long cock, because that's our tow vehicle. And like I said, we work on all kinds of stuff. 
this is one of them there Chevrolets, but it's a 454 in her. Big block. The Chevrolet is the long cock. Interesting. Yeah. It didn't say how fat it was. It was just saying it was long. So it could be long and skinny. You never know. You know, tickle, tickle, tickle. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, brother. Well, I appreciate you showing me shop. I think right now it's time for the fun part. You let's, ready to go take a ride? Let's drive. Let's go take let's a ride, ride Let's go take a ride, dude. Gator Wyatt, Todd Baroni. We finna take this thing out for a little cruisy cruise. Let's get it popping, brother. Freedom, brother. Yeah. You can feel the freedom. American muscle, baby. Yeah, that's right. All American steel and sex appeal right here. You can hear it, hear it and feel it and smell it all at the same that's time. That's right, brother. Engage in all the senses. steering wheel off like it ain't no big deal yeah i when i go to car shows like like kids sit in the car because i'm not worried about it yeah uh -huh. flip the steering wheel up they learn how to undo the steering wheel and put it back on again right 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 stuff. and they get tickled to death because you know you go to car shows the people oh don't touch don't look don't touch man get in my car sit in it yeah you know i like to have fun with it and right then, kids nowadays they they're going to remember that they go to a car show i got to sit in this 67 cougar this guy was cool Hey, and they're cool, I'm cool. The parents get to take pictures of the kids, and it's funny because sometimes you get parents who want to sit in the car too. Right. So I'm all down for whatever, you know, just make it easy all the way around. Look, man, Skeeter Y got nine kids with eight different women, Woo! and you let one of my little children sit in it, you know what I mean? So you're a machine, dude. That's right, that's right, brother. I'm like a little jackrabbit. Woo! Thumper. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thumper, I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dad jokes. well-handling car, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Not with the skinnies up front. Nah. Nah, you got the pizza cutters up front. You yep. ain't you ain't doing no turny turns. No. No donuts in this thing. Nah. She's a straight liner. Oh, and I do have 32 pounds of those. So they feel somewhat soft. Yeah. We usually rock 40 at the drag strip just for the rollout. Rollout. What's up, dude? <laughs> That's badass, too. Oh, hell yeah, you got the Durango. <laughs> My man got the Donnie T-Flags and everything. Hey, he's good to go. 
That's what's cool about rolling an old hot rod, man, is everybody looking at you, giving a little thumbs up. You know what I mean? It's just uh, it's a different feeling, you know? You can't explain it. No. Nah. You know, when I, when I go to the shows and stuff, you get people coming up, old guys. I, my grandparents took me to school in one of these. Uh -huh. I, I used to have to sit in the back seat all the time. To me, that's called memories, you know, some stuff you never can forget. Hard to explain to people until you get them in the seat. Uh, how fast is it? Uh, it runs 12. Different kind of different kind of speed. Yeah. I mean, you get into new Mustangs or Hellcats or Camaros nowadays. Yeah. You know, they run tens. They're fast, but it's a different type of fast. It's a different type of fast. I'm not fast. I'd rather be quick. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, Just ask the ladies. Yeah. That way they get on to do the rest of the house chores. Mine's at the house right now, doing laundry, vacuuming, cleaning up. I got an unpaid intern at the house too. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Yeah, you got a you got a little one too. That's right. I, I got nine little ones. Hey, yeah, she's badass though. In all seriousness, <laughs> the Skeeter White's alter ego does have a an adorable little daughter. Cuter, cuter than I'll get out. That's right. That's what life's all about. I just I feel agree. sorry. I just feel sorry for her and to drive around them Chevrolets. Uh, hey, listen. You know, hey, listen. She wanted to have swag. You know what I mean? So one of these days we'll get her out of that and put her in a big boy car. <laughs> put her in a big boy car. <laughs> Listen, if she wants to be put on training wheels her whole life, we'll get put her in a Ford. Oh, dude, that you hurt. Know what I mean, did you just cut me? That's right. I, I'm feeling like I'm bleeding. But did you just twist that knife on my side. Now we said nothing about the Dodge Boys, though. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Chevys and Fords are siblings, whereas the Mopar guys are the weirdo cousin that comes over for the holidays. Yeah. Merry Christmas! Jenner was full! And uh, you have to kind of shove them out to get them to leave. Yep. They eat all your stuff, drink all your drink. Overstay the welcome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, when you're done eating, hit it. You ain't got to sit and explain anything to me. Cousins from another muffin, you know what I mean? <laughs>